Kirby, 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 he's a saving the day and he's got a new game and da 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 he's got, yeah, Kirby Triple Deluxe. So after the disappointment that was Yoshi's New Island, Kirby Triple Deluxe comes along and is really, really good. It's got deluxe action, deluxe abilities, deluxe game modes. I'm not sure if they actually know what deluxe means. Actually, I don't know what deluxe means. Huh. All right. So it's called Triple Deluxe because there are three different game modes in this. One is the main story mode, which is a typical Kirby game. One is called Kirby Fighters, and the other is called DDD's Drum Dash. Let's start with the main story mode, where Kirby has to go up this dream stalk thing. And there are a total of six different worlds with five levels in each world. And one extra level after getting all the sunstones. Now this plays like classic Kirby, but with all new Kirby games, there are new abilities. And there are four new abilities in this game. Circus Kirby, Archer Kirby, Beetle Kirby, and Bell Kirby. Personally, my favorite is Beetle Kirby because you get to impale your enemies on your horn. There's also this ability called Hypernova that you get in a few levels, where Kirby is super destructive with his inhaling ability. Now, like all Kirby games, this is pretty easy, though it does get challenging towards the later levels. And actually, the bosses are pretty challenging. Also, after beating the main story mode, there is a post-game mode that I won't give away what it is, but it's pretty cool. So other than the main story mode, there's Kirby Fighters, which is like a mini Smash Brothers game. Except you use just Kirby, but you choose one ability. It's a local multiplayer game, so there's no online, but it plays a lot like Smash. There's even a block and dodge ability, which I forgot to mention you can actually use in the story mode. I didn't learn that until about halfway through. I was like, huh, I can dodge in this. I don't know if that was a feature in Return to Dreamland. I don't remember it being one. And the last mode is called DDD's Drum Dash, which is a rhythm game, though it kind of falls flat. You're supposed to hit drums with the beat of the song, but you can move DDD at will. DDD isn't on a set pace like on something like Harmonite, which is an excellent rhythm game and you should go get it. But that mode is just one part of this game. All of the rest of the game is really excellent. It actually has some really good 3D effects. I found myself playing this in 3D more than any other game I've played on the 3DS. And of course this has excellent music and is on par with Return to Dreamland as far as its graphics go. It also has quite a lot of replayability, with the post-game mode I mentioned, unlocking all the extra levels, and plus a lot of collectibles. There are 250 keychains you can find in the game. And the keychains are sprites of previous Kirby games, which is really neat. Overall, if you like Kirby, you probably already have this. If not, and you're looking for a good platformer, this is definitely something to pick up. That's all I have for now. See ya. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and share it. And be sure to subscribe for videos I upload every week. And if you're feeling really generous, check out my Patreon page. And as always, thank you for watching. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. By now, we're getting a bit used to winter, like soldiers in the middle of a campaign, growing hardened to discomfort and better able to take it.